So I pledged my brain to Project Enlist so that I could help future generations of both male and female soldiers. I pledged my brain. Uh, one, uh, when it was described to me what Project Enlist was about. And it was to try and understand and find a way to improve future generations of soldiers. Uh, and then to recognize that what we do with our heads and brains that we have right now, how that impacts us as we age. So th for those of us that were in a war zone, um, others who might have ha been involved in sports that involve knocking heads, um, this is a way I feel that I might be able to better understand what's even going inside my brain. And normally I would say, you know, I don't necessarily want to, you know, separate women's issues from men's issues. But when it comes to it, at the end of the day, we are not the same. Our needs might be different than our male counterparts' needs. Does not mean that we are more special than. It just means that we're a small group that needs more focus. And right now, as a veteran, I need more focus. And I need things that are gonna help me more specifically, dependent on the fact that I'm also a mom, dependent on the fact that I had breast cancer, dependent on the fact that you know I have PTSD, dependent on the fact that I was a frontline medic. There's so many things that um, are making me who I am right now, but I'm still a woman under all of it, and how you fix me may not be the same as how you even fix the next person next to me. So I do think that Project Enlist and focusing on, you know, what are the differences, or how do we help this person manage a little bit more? What can we learn for future so that both genders um, can be the best soldiers that they can? I am looking forward to, um, you know, being a part of something that may help others. And I think Project Enlist does that.